Hi, I'm Katie Ellman reporting for Katie Chats here at the Constellation Awards. Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats here at the Constellation Awards with Judy and Gar. What are you guys most excited about for the awards this evening? I think it's the chance to hand out an award. We'll be handing out the award for outstanding science fiction or fantasy script for television and movies. So, um, and there are a lot of great projects, um, and we're excited to find out who won. And also, we're just interested to be, have been nominated at all, <laughs> and that that was just a surprisingly, it was just a wonderful treat to yeah. even be here, and but also just to get reacquainted with the latest in the Canadian sci-fi community, yeah. mm -hmm. because this is where you find out as you talk to everyone what everyone's working on. Yeah. And you guys have been a part of the sci-fi community for years and years. What initially inspired you to get into it? I think for both of us it was reading. Yeah, it was Ray Bradbury, Isaac Asimov, all those, uh, the great classic stories, and then wanting more. So going into then comic books, television, and movies. I think that's what's made us eclectic, is that it doesn't really matter what the medium is, it's the story that's the, the common element. So we love, we've written comics, we've written graphic novels, we've written novels, we've written television, we've written feature plays and we've written even for an action figure yeah. when G.I. Joe says outstanding we wrote that Amazing. and what is your artistic process like how do you come up with all of your all of your writing uh, yeah, um, it's now 24 like hours a day this. yeah uh, we've been doing it for so long I mean technically what we do is we usually start the day with oh I had an idea and we'll bat it around a bit. If we decide that we're going to develop something, that's when we bring out the pads of paper and just start writing down words, concepts, ideas. Eventually, that will go into index cards on a board, and then we try and decide, is it going to be a movie? Is it going to be a television series? And we just play it by ear. And it's, it's just a shockingly nice way yeah. to mostly earn a living. But it, it is a very easy way to do it, and it's story all day, every day. You really, what if someone told us that being a writer was like having homework for the rest of your life? <laughs> so the research is, is half the fun of it, too. As you come up with a new idea, you think, it's, oh, I have to go learn about that. And you can just follow your interests. And tell me a little bit about your upcoming projects. Ah, we have a new horror novel coming up. It's a love story, though the cover is extremely scary, <laughs> and it's called Wraith. Mm -hmm. And that one, we're really looking forward to that one being published, I think it'll be the end of the year or the beginning in the spring. And, uh, and it's just been and, uh, optioned. And, and again, this is, it was an idea we'd been working on for a while, and we thought, should we make it a movie? Should we make it a book? And we decided we'll make it a book, because we hadn't written a horror novel together. We wrote it a book we th as a book. We thought, well, this will make a great movie. We showed it to our agent. He said, yeah, this will make a great movie. And then they optioned it as a television series. So <laughs> what do we know? Okay. And we also have been working on a, a new project as well, uh, which was different, but it's also involving story, and in that we became lead writers on Shanghai Disneyland for one of the new lands. Mm -hmm. And they brought us in because they were working with writers who knew story. Mm -hmm. And everything is connected by story in a Disneyland project. So writers can do a lot of things in very unusual corners. And what sets the Constellation Awards apart to you? Number one, it's a fan award. It's given. It's it's a popularity award. You have things in science fiction in print. You have the Nebula Awards, which are given out by science fiction professionals to science fiction professionals, and you have the Hugo Awards that are given out by fans everywhere. And what the Constellation Awards are so nice. What sets them apart is it's Canadian fans get to say. And there is a difference culturally uh, between different countries. So you know, it's always great to see what do the Japanese fans think are the best Japanese stories and movies that have come out of their country, what are the best British ones. Now Canada has this great voice saying, this is what Canadian fans like. And we started as Canadian fans, yeah. so we love meeting more, and yeah. we'd like to welcome more into the fan group. 
And where is the best place to find out more information on you guys and all the great work that you do online? Well, um, we're, we're on Twitter, at Reeves Stevens, no hyphen, and uh, that's probably the best place where the new things come up, but we also have our own site, uh, reevesstevens.com, with the hyphen, and uh, every once in a while we, we post the new, new, new stuff on that. Thank you so much. Congratulations, and have a lovely time this evening. Great. Thank, you, Thank very you, much, you very Katie. much, Katie. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman, reporting for Katie Chats here at the Constellation Awards.